Hi guys. <laughs> so I'm now out uh, in the area next to the water where I stay, taking a walk. And I like now, at least in my life, some things are starting to be more stable, so I can do more videos um, and share some experience that I have um, from uh, learning from the Maasai. And, um, some of them I have taken to Sweden, and uh, and especially one important aspect that I see is very beneficial for me is the herbal medicine for the Maasai. So I want to do, take this video opportunity in this video to to share with you uh, the common ones, uh, the important ones that I have and that I am using. So especially the ones I am using are are uh, actually I have called the seketet, seketek, or sutton, and um, so I have. So I'm taking with my tea uh, most of the days, most of my mornings, uh, just for general health, and uh, I believe. Uh, in it, I believe it gives me some extra boost, some extra strength. Um, sometimes I feel that, sometimes I don't. But um, <laughs> the belief is there at least. I believe it um, has potential in the in the long run. And uh, so many are saying it is good. <laughs> so seketet, seketek is something really, really, really used among the Maasai and Chams and Samburu traditionally uh, for remaining uh, healthy and uh, boosting immunity so I'm, <laughs> I'm using it and uh, sometimes sometimes I actually really st feel strong because I've taken it danger with it is uh, if you overdose it you will become emotional and uh, if you have a lot of anger within you uh, can be hard to, to not. Um, it can be hard to keep that within. <laughs> so if you want to release those emotions, fine. These herbs are not so bad. But if you want to keep your your calm, yeah. Um, another herb I'm using a lot is. Um, Oremit is the Maasai name, uh, Sokote is the uh, Samburu name, and um, I'm using it quite uh, sometimes. And I found that uh, something I've learned from being in Kenya now it's this uh, Kenyan different than than the Swedish life and uh, how we eat food here is that uh, <coughs> in Kenya Kenya is more strict in and the Maasai is too, not to mix too many things because there is a belief uh, it's not so good for the stomach system it will be difficult for the stomach system causing gases, causing pains, causing uh, digestive disorders and uh, these are common things in Sweden uh, we are living with them uh, and I don't think so many are reflecting about it uh, but I'm starting to see that Yes, we have a culture where we promote mixing of things and uh, we have availability of all kind of things uh, that we can eat. So sometimes when I eat nuts and then I eat some foods with a lot of mixture of different things, um, I can see, I can see, uh, I can really see uh, the mixtures of different foods that causes uh, gas creation and uh, and uh, bloating and uh, pains in the stomach and other things. So when that happens, uh, ormit sokote is a very very nice herb because it relaxes the stomach and um, uh, helps in digestion and uh, removes that pain. And yeah, <laughs> I can feel uh, it's really nice. And if I would get a stomach upset, if I would uh, get um, to be sick, uh, 
getting bacteria to 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 have a running stomach. Uh, that uh, is also a very very nice uh, herb. Uh, also, suton is very nice. And the third one is very nice. I have it here, but I'm not using it very often. And uh, that one is called uh, El Chinye in Samburu, or uh, Ol Kinye in uh, Masai. And um, I have that one, not using it so much, but I still have it. Uh, if I get severe stomach problem, I can use it. And uh, that one is also very, very, very nice. Uh, some instances. I can feel like a lot of uh, bad if I've eaten some, you know, the sometimes <laughs> when I'm with my family, when I'm with uh, other Swedish um, people uh, visiting their homes, and we get to search, we get some foods, I can feel they're not so healthy, but I, I force myself to eat them because of uh, that social bond. social respect uh, but I can feel after some times these things uh, adds up to be toxic and uh, adds up to not be so good in my digestive system and fills up uh, maybe the intestines with some things this uh, El Chinye, uh, El Chinye that, um, that one is really 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 nice to, to take a bit stronger um, not too strong but a bit stronger and it will really uh, create the lactive uh, uh, effect of the stomach system to clear all those things. So, yeah. <laughs> Another hub that I'm using more frequently actually, it's um, something called uh, Orcocola, or uh, in Samburu it's called Irkokolai. Uh, it's uh, the bark of the roots of a, of a smaller tree in the highlands. And, um, it's a very very bitter tree. Uh, you shouldn't take it on on your own uh, on its own. Uh, traditionally, it's taken with soup, and uh, sometimes I've taken it with food. Uh, and I've not been able to make soup from here. I don't do so much animal soups, so maybe I do some food soups and I'll take it. Or uh, when I'm not had time for that, I will, I will take it with milk. And that one I've used it. Many times when I have had, uh, I've used it against uh, influenza, and, and I've seen uh, uh, those symptoms going down. Although it does not, it has still affected me. Um, it's a very, very uh, strong disease. And uh, sometimes when I've just not felt well, I've had some headaches, and I feel some, yeah, not so well. Uh, Sometimes I felt really, really sick, uh, starting to, to become sick. Uh, and uh, then I've used uh, Orcocolai, Irkocolai. Uh, and uh, the next day, <laughs> I'm okay, I can't feel, feel that thing again. And, uh, you know, they say some types of malaria to not get out of the body and you know I've gotten malaria a, a, a dozen of times uh, <laughs> I can't count actually how many times I've got it so if malaria is remaining in the body definitely I have it in the body maybe there has been a time or two where it has come back because I've got fever and uh, severe headache and then Coca-Cola has helped in those instances. We'll see if they will, if it will come back. Uh, personally, I have a belief that that uh, the traditional medicine are more stronger and more powerful to uh, remove uh, chronic malaria. Now. <laughs> but um, it's, uh, if I've gotten it back, mm, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Anyway, to me, malaria is not really a big issue if I can, uh, if I have this uh, this medicine uh, and I get uh, the symptoms. I will just take uh, the medicine and uh, I'm okay. So, and uh, I've stayed in Sweden for now like uh, 
seven, like, you know, for the last seven years, I've been uh, part of the time in Kenya, part of the time in Sweden. Some years I've been more in Kenya, some years I've been more in Sweden. Uh, but I would say it's three or four years. Half of the time I've been in Kenya, half of the time I've been in Sweden, um, in average. And uh, for those three to four years, uh, symptoms that looks like malaria, I'm not sure it is malaria, this happened two times. So, yeah, maybe I have chronic malaria, maybe I don't have it. Um, I don't know if there's a way of testing. <laughs> if you know there's a way of testing, please uh, put a comment and uh, help me with that um, information, because I don't know. So, yeah. Then uh, there are other herbs that I'm, I've also brought. I brought the uh, Lamriaki, Lamriei, and uh, Olusesiae. And uh, those herbs I'm taking sometimes. I'm taking for my general uh, health, I believe. They're good for my immunity. They're good for, yeah, my general health, that is. Uh, but, yeah, not uh, too important. I've been more important now for, for my wife. I've been pregnant and are now uh, breastfeeding. It will be it will be very very useful for her. Uh, but for for me, yeah, sometimes I felt and I can I can sense within me. You know, when I'm used to these herbs, I can sense like, yeah, now I'm not feeling 100%. And then I it's like I have a craving for for a specific herb. And then I take that and I'll be better. So, yeah, that's a very interesting uh, experience, uh, but <laughs> yeah, that's how I've, I've, uh, I've seen things. And uh, I've also have the uh, Ole Parmunio, I'm using it sometimes for just uh, general health. And, um, and then I have um, another one that is very, very important here, uh, is Loisuk. Uh, or loisuki uh, and uh, that one is very very good for flu uh, and for pneumonia you can take that one you mix it with the uh, osokonoi uh, sokoni you make uh, mix uh, those um, those herbs together and boil them and uh, drink and I've seen very 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 <laughs> nice results with that uh, although I haven't seen myself getting pneumonia in Sweden, but in Kenya I'm used to it a lot. So if I will, will um, if I will get those symptoms in Sweden, I have them here so that I'm, I can feel safe. And uh, while uh, loisuki, uh, loisuk is, uh, I use the bark, I use the seeds and. Um, I have them so that I can can uh, can assist myself when I have flu uh, and throat uh, <coughs> problems and uh, yeah <laughs> I believe all these things that I'm all these herbs that I'm using they are helping me uh, in my in my health um, I've been using some other herbs. Uh, Sometimes I've also used Orconil, um, Iriconil, uh, that herb. I've used it just yes, for my general uh, health and uh, for joints and those things. Mm. And uh, I've actually felt sometimes I have back pain and joint pain and those things, but the herbs haven't helped me so much as it has helped others I've seen around me. Um, but what has helped me is exercise, uh, yoga, uh, mindfulness, meditation, uh, stretching, um, and posture, and uh, <laughs> those things. Um, so I can see the symptoms that I have of back pain uh, is mostly because of, uh, of the lifestyle of, 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 of the Swedish the, the digital life, I would say. Sitting with the computers and uh, these phones. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah. yeah, and uh, I guess that's it. Uh, that's most of the, the hubs that I'm using. And 
the, those are most of the of the issues. Um, Sokonoi, Sokoni. Uh, I've also seen it has a big potential for hygiene in the mouth. It's good to mix some powder with uh, swaki, gege, uh, the the stick, the toothbrush from stick, and um, you can. Uh, when I feel I have some infections in the mouth or wounds in the mouth, it's quite common. You can see the type of food uh, that I'm exposed to. Sometimes it, it gives those uh, symptoms. And it's really, 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 really powerful. Uh, very, very nice uh, for those reasons. So there are quite some herbs that I'm using in, in Sweden. And uh, there are some herbs that I'm that I'm not using as, as much. Um, so I brought these hubs with me when I traveled. I've taken them in my luggage and uh, no one has ever checked me, no one has ever asked me, uh, but I can't see that there is any restrictions uh, in those things. The one uh, with the... you should be careful if you want to export it and take it from Kenya is uh, Lusaceae, Lusaceae, which is a sandalwood um, because that one has a trading ban um, but the trading ban for that one is mostly to uh, to stop like those who export it they do it with lorries and uh, they do it in a very high quantity so for a tourist I cannot guarantee uh, <laughs> That you will uh, be able to to uh, go with it, but um, that's um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I have to say about that. Um, but really, one of the best ones to carry um, is uh, Orco Cola. Uh, um, or Sokonoi, Sokonoi, because Sokonoi you will use a very 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 small amount and it will help you so you can really really take something small Lusatia you will use more uh, Lamrie you will use more uh, and others you will use more uh, Irkonil you will use very small very very nice uh, to take with you <laughs> And so many others. Uh, even uh, Sekadet, I'm using so small, small, small every day. Not really every day, but <laughs> on a frequent, frequent basis. So, hope you learned something new. Uh, please give thumbs up if you like it. Please give thumbs down if you don't like it. And uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I want, uh, if possible, active. Uh, viewers uh, and uh, if if you have questions please comment if you have your own experience please comment uh, it would be so interesting to make this channel to be a way that we can uh, communicate and discuss and learn from each other more uh, about these issues so thanks so much for listening and talk to you next time